by the IP address of the host. And the same, for example, for the port, uh, the, the same if you have, for example, a table where you need to actually link uh, with a like, foreign key where you have to link uh, the ID to the IP address and then the same thing, uh, and insert that ID into the uh, port table. Here we have basically first a select query which selects ID field which you refer in the next query by the dollar one, dollar one sign. And then NPS, port number protocol, application level protocol, and then application version. So as you can see, this way you can actually import the data into any database uh, of any schema. You can basically integrate the schema into your existing database, and that's what the database publisher is for. Yeah. Um, and uh, aside from uh, database publisher, we also have IRC importer, which takes the data from the IRC channel and injects it into this particular node uh, of the stiff installation. And we also have the IRC publisher where you can define what sort of data you can you need to publish on the IRC channel so like other people and other stiff nodes which are connected to the same IRC channel can see this data and import it into their knowledge base. And uh, uh, for the IRC importer and publisher you, you should be able to see it during the, the demo. Uh, no, we, we don't have IRC installed here. So yeah, sorry, no, but you'll see, yeah. So uh, how your favorite tools integration, uh, how can you integrate your basically your favorite tool into Stiff? Uh, so there are several ways to do that. First of all is you can use generic to Stiff converter, which is basically, which can convert uh, basically any output of any tool using regular expressions into the Stiff format. And that's what we use now. We, we use we have ported the, uh, converted this way the output from the Nmap, from Nikto, from Hydra, and then, uh, yeah, and the Xprob, yeah, that would be it. So uh, basically using the regular expressions, we'll show you a sample for the Nmap. You can actually convert any output into this T format that can be injected into inference engine and used and digested by our inference engine. And another thing you could write is you could write a tool specific wrapper that would again parse the output or and then present uh, the uh, inference engine with the uh, stiff message in, uh, in XML. Or of course you can basically hack the code and port it to stiff, which would be good. So that's a, s that's a simple configuration for the parser. It's kind of complex, but basically what it says is that it, it gives you regular expressions to extract different types of data from the output and then uh, data into specific fields of the stiff message. And that's how it works. Yeah, and basically, uh, Mitter just mentioned the, the tool wrappers. We actually have the interface like for the tool wrapper as well. So all you have to do, you don't have to actually like change the code at all. You have to implement your own classes, and you have to implement the interface that implements the methods of the which are required by the interface. And as soon as you do it, like for the rest of the thing, you can like just plug your tool in and like have it running. And what else you can do to like? To to assist the like the development of the first generation of of Steve, you can just like download and try it, or you can if you like code any tools, you can try to port them to be able to generate the stiff messages as the output. So if the tool generates the stiff messages as the output, no no data page pressure is needed. You can just plug the tool in and have it running in the exec model. And if uh, any data parsing is required, you can like write your own, gener uh, your own regular expression rules using generic to stiff converter. And the way you write the, the regular expression, there is just XML file, which is a configuration file, and you just like put the regular expressions there. Or uh, yeah, you can like do the tool patching and stuff as well. And also, we are moving like for the moment, we're moving to the like second generation of stiff, which is sort of like similar by design to the first version, but it has a few add-ons and we'll introduce in a moment. Yeah, and now we have demonstrate, now we will demonstrate to you the, uh, the first generation of Steve. Uh, as you've seen, that we had that small video running here, maybe uh, now after you are, you've got the idea of what we were talking about, it would make sense more. So let me just run it once again. Just just it, right? Basically, here we have several tools, and then the security analyst are con uh, uh, controlling them manually. So first, Nmap goes tries to hack the computer, but this is candid. 
then the second tool would be X Pro, which after it has some uh, ports open, it could actually tell you what operating system is running. And then here comes Nikto, and Nikto knocks out X Pro now. So yeah, the error occurred and it's fell down. So yeah, that. So now analyst, uh, after seeing that he's not efficient enough, calls Steve. So Steve comes. He's and really cool. He, he integrates all the tools. Yeah, and he basically takes control of all of them and lines them all up. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry. Hope you all like it. No, that, that wasn't a demo. That was just. Yeah, that a wasn't a demo. We're gonna have a real demo now. So here I have started this tip. It gives you several information messages, and what I do is I add. Can you see? More visible, or can, can you maybe make it like bold or something? Is this one? Okay, let me just envelope a bit. Okay. So basically, you can see the output of the stiff loading log when it loads all the like models and stuff and loads the rules and things. Yeah, so what we do now is basically we add the target to the system by doing add target. Yeah, the way you communi communicate with the Steve, you have like command line, or you can implement your own interface. We implemented the command line thing, and you just give the commands to Steve, and then it, it tries to match it to, to the rule base and sees uh, which uh, models can execute the, the command. Yeah, so we add the target, and then we will see a lot of messages. We'll go through all of them now. But basically what happens is based on the rules that, that are outlined uh, here. Um, basically, right now, the way the Steve is implemented is um, it's an event-based, event-driven uh, execution flow. So what happens, you give it like a new target. So it detects the event of like appearance of new type of information, and then it tries to find which uh, tools require this information to, to execute. Once it matches like Nmap and Xprop, like both of them, they just need like a target, so it executes both both both, uh, both tools. And the tools, once they execute, they generate a new type of uh, input data, which generates like new events, like open ports, operating system type, and stuff. And then, uh, according to the rule base, the inference engine will try to match additional tools until the until no new events appear. So yeah, so what do we see here is that first of all, Xprobe is executed, then we have Nmap is executed. We'll show you later after that, uh, that in rules, it was as uh, all these two uh, tools were registered for the uh, message of, uh, Steve message of type target. So after that executed, Nmap then feeds a, a new fact, n several new facts into the, into the our system, which one of them states that uh, there is a, a AT port open with protocol HTTP. And we have in our rules configured to run Nikto for that. So after that, uh, and map after and map is finished, as you can see here, Nikto is is being executed because it has matched the yeah it has matched the this rule the that uh, HTTP the protocol is open on port 80, and that's that's output gets converted in t and passed to the tool in the form of command line options. So uh, as after the uh, Nikto has executed, it will it will return several URLs that it found, and this way you can actually, for example, if you find some, for example, a uh, I don't know if Nikto checks for PHPBB, but for example, if Nikto detected PHPBB, you could uh, put into the parser your exploit for these latest vulnerabilities in the view topic, and easily exploit them just automatically using through through the rules engine basically. And all these rules, and this way it, it can go like forever if you have all the rules configured. So let's see now uh, how, how actually the rules look like. Basically, we also have like uh, integration of like several like proxy servers. So um, in the like in the intrusion environment, what you do is just like browse the, the target website, and uh, and the proxy plugin it actually generates the stiff even messages with the URLs as soon as it finds the URLs which uh, the system might be interested in, like the act active execution content, like CGI's, uh, GSP, stuff like this. 
and then it, it will trigger the execution flows within the Steve. So you, all you do is just like browse the website and Steve automatically runs all the tools for you depending on what kind of uh, tool would match what uh, the, the, the type of data which it sees. Yeah, so here uh, we have first rule, na rule name scan, which what it means is there, is there are two parts to the rule, which is a condition and then, the, and then the action. So what we have is that we have a target, as you can see here. If the target message is given and it matches the following regular expression, which, is, which matches everything, then the following tools would be executed, uh, um, xprop and mamseed version, and then it, uh, the message will be logged. So after these tools have executed, we have another rule called web scan which what it does is it matches uh, the port message. As you can see here, um, as long as the uh, state is open and the protocol is TCP, we don't, care. we don't care about the number since it matches everything and we care about any address. Uh, uh, and as long as the protocol is HTTP or HTTPS, uh, the following two tools will be executed, which is Nikto, Verbose, and then HTTP Brute. As you can see, these are just basically short names for the tools. Uh, and the way uh, the, all the command line switches are actually uh, defined in another file called exec XML. Yeah, th there's just like nicknames for the types of execution, and you can call them whatever you can, because there are like a hundred or like a thousand ways to execute nmap, and there's like a number of ways how you can execute nicto. So you can just define different execution like methods, and then you can refer th to them through this nickname. So I don't know if you can see this. Basically, that's how you can convert the stiff messages into the, the format which, which the tool understands. We have um, several conventions that whenever you use one of these characters, it will be re replaced uh, with the host protocol port, user ID, password, like, and all the other data from the stiff message. Basically, it's, it's, it's pretty simple. You have percent %h for host, percent %p for protocol, percent %n, and then uh, down there, um, for each of the tools, as you can see here, what we do is that we execute nmap and we pass parameter percent %h, which will be uh, substituted for the uh, uh, IP address of the host. And then for Nikto, we have uh, percent %n, which would stand for port number that HTTP uh, protocol has been found on, and percent %h for the, um, for the host. Yeah, the same and thing with Hydra and like all, all the other stuff. Yeah, so basically you can, as you can see, uh, after adding uh, to the after adding your uh, tool to exec XML, you can put the rule here in rules XML that would run your tool based on the uh, conditions that it needs to meet first. Uh, yeah, well, that's that's about it about demo. If anyone has any questions, yeah, for, for basically for the first, for the first generation of Steve, that that's basically <laughs> then well, uh, if there are any questions, yeah, what wh what the question is. Well, basically, what you can do here, we have a database publisher. So what you can do, you can push the data into database, and then you can uh, generate your reports using the, like any like database tools, or you can even write a PHP script, which will just take the data from the tables and like generate the report. For the moment, we have like we were experimenting with a like PHP interface for the reporting, but we're not releasing it because they're still like very rough. Yeah, uh, see the, the, the stiff is more of an inference engine which basically uh, digests the information and provides you with publishing modules we can, which you can use to do anything. You can save the data, you can save all the stiff XML messages and then uh, write your own parser to actually parse the data and generate the report. Additionally, in the logs directory you have the, all of the logs of all the uh, outputs of tools. So that means that for example, if Steve missed something due to some bug, uh, the like the whole thing is not really wasted and not not lost because you still have logs of the output and you can always review them manually. Yeah, basically, if you need to confirm any data with um, any data that that is found in database and you want to find where, where it came from, because not all the tools are like error prone, uh, you can just go into the the log folder and you can see the the log of like of all all the tools which were executed. Yeah, so this is just just the run of the end map that we just had now. So you see, you can see the output, it's still available for you to, to, to <coughs> use. But yeah, but I mean, 
if you want to write a report, the easiest way would be to use a generic uh, database publishing module and to 